Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about Keybase. And Keybase actually has a lot of different features, so I'll try to uh, be as concise as possible about, about all of them. Um, so first off, uh, Keybase, you can find at keybase.io. Um, basically it's a, it's a tool, um, yeah, a website, a collection of tools that uh, helps to establish web of trust and associate that web of trust uh, with our social network. So web of trust, um, if you have ever used GPG or PGP, uh, basically whenever you generate a public and private key, um, you need to know, you know, which public and private key to actually trust. So how can we associate a key with a given person? Because anyone can generate keys um, and anyone could potentially use a fake name whenever they generate those keys. So um, how can we actually know uh, who owns which key? And we do that by basically key signing. And whenever we sign these keys with our own keys, if we know we verify that this person actually owns the key, um, then we are building what we call the web of trust. So uh, Keybase tries to help <laughs> help build this web of trust uh, by associating uh, our key with uh, mostly social networks and, and websites that we own. So for example, I have my uh, GPG key uh, available. The public key is, is publicly available. Um, and I've associated that key um, with my, uh, for example, Twitter account, Cybercrime Tech, with my GitHub account, J.I. James, and my website, CybercrimeTech.com. Um, all of these things have been verified to uh, be owned by me, basically. Um, so if you can trust that, um, you know, I actually own CybercrimeTech.com, then you can trust that I actually own this key as well. Um, so this is just another way to try to verify identities, and it's a much more, uh, let's say, easier way, um, not without its, its flaws, but it definitely is an easier way to try to verify um, someone's ID. So for example, if you tweet, um, or if you, if you see my tweets on cybercrime tech on Twitter, um, you, you know, want to follow me and you know that I'm the person behind that account, then you can actually identify, uh, go to Keybase and say, okay, well, cybercrime tech at Twitter, um, what is his key? Well, his key is this key that's available right here. So then you can very easily find out who's, uh, which key should you be using if you want to communicate with me. That's basically what, what Keybase uh, is designed to do, but it also has a lot more features that you can use. Um, so I'll talk about a couple features right now. This is the, the Keybase IO uh, website, and my username for Keybase is Joshua James. So keybase.io slash Joshua James is where you can find information about uh, me, the social networks that I verified, and the key that I verified. A little bit of blurb about me. Um, whenever you're at the website, there's a couple different things you can do. Um, Let's let's just scroll down a little bit. So it's kind of like a little bit like a social network because it is associating your social networks and they want to be able to make communication, especially encrypted communication between people easier. Um, so there's a couple of things we can do here. There's this browse Joshua James signed public folder. Um, I'll talk about this in a second, but basically this uh, creates a publicly accessible folder where all of the documents you put inside that folder uh, are automatically signed by the key that you have registered. So uh, imagine that you're doing a software release. Um, normally we would you know, uh, create the installer of the package and then we would sign the package and then distribute both the signature and the, uh, the package together. In this case, all you have to do is put the package inside your um, signed public folder. Uh, Keybase automatically signs the package for you and then you know that everything in that public folder is signed by that particular key. Um, it also has, like I said, social social networking kind of functions. So you have followers and uh, followers and following. Uh, currently, I'm following a few people, but not very many people follow me. So please follow me if you want to be able to communicate securely. Um, and then it has others that are kind of related uh, in in different networks. So um, followers and following makes a difference for. Um, uh, you know, public public and private folders that are available to you just by browsing, but um, you can you can add anyone in the network as long as they have an account 
uh, anytime. And they also have an interesting feature uh, for people who don't have accounts yet, which I'll talk about in a second. Also from the web page, other than um, uh, verifying, getting the code basically to verify your, your accounts, uh, which I won't show you how to do, but basically you follow very easy instructions to verify different types of accounts. Um, there's also a couple features to, for example, do key-based chat and PGP encrypt. So at the top, um, I have some invites, by the way, if you want to use some invites. At the top, there ha there's uh, send encrypted message, uh, decrypt a message, uh, sign a message, and verify a message. So we probably recognize all of those things, but for example, uh, let's say that I don't have the Grook, I hope I pronounced that right, Grook. Let's say I don't have his key in my keychain. I can just go to his Keybase IO Grook account and I know the Grook um, uh, uh, Twitter account handle is actually that. So if I trust that he has control of he or she, I, I don't really know, he has control of this um, uh, Twitter account, then I can trust that this is his key. So for example, I could um, go to PGP encrypt and then his username is already selected. So even though his key is not in my keychain right now, um, I can still send an encrypted message to him. Hello, encrypt. Now I have an encrypted message encrypted with his public key. So then I could, for example, send this via Twitter um, and he could get it and decrypt it. Um, there's also the decrypt option. So decrypt is command line, uh, basically command line only because I am not hosting my private key on Keybase. There is the option to put both your public and private key on Keybase. I currently don't have my public key on Keybase, um, so I can't use the online tools, but you, if you put your public key up there, you can decrypt messages uh, using this interface. Same for signing. Um, I don't have my public key, so... Um, uh, I can't sign anything uh, on this interface. I have to use the offline tool and then verifying as well. Um, yeah, so message to verify if we, yeah, we can verify like normal in GPG. Okay, so those are basically the uh, encryption signing verification options that are available via the interface. Uh, the web interface d does a couple more things. You can see, for example, the, the public folder um, all of the documents that they've publicly shared, and you can connect with new people. So let's say uh, Mark, um, if Mark has, he has no public files shared. Okay, um, maybe I can find some someone with some public files. Okay, yeah, so uh, Gojun has uh, a couple files shared publicly, and all of these have been signed by him. So if I click on his public signed folder, I can see um, see all of these files so read me md yeah so he's basically just saying i've shared this with the with the world uh they also um he's published his key so that way i can download his uh public key uh from this public share and he also did hello world okay yeah so all of these documents have actually been signed by him and i can verify that they have been signed by him uh using um uh, an offline tool okay so another thing that I can do, if you look at uh, mine, I have this index.md and I also have my keys, uh, the public key. Um, so I'm sharing my public key via Keybase and I have index.md. If you go to, right now I'm at keybase.io, Joshua James. If you go to joshuajames.keybase.pub, then that um, markdown file basically comes up as index.html. You can make uh, markdown web pages that are publicly or that are signed by your uh, that are signed by your key automatically and they're publicly available um, so you could put different um, contents in here uh, just like a web page um, I'm also hosting whoops I'm also hosting uh, my key like I said so anyone can publicly access that folder um, and I will show you if I can I'll show you the folder right now so locally um, I have this this folder locally. I have the Keybase client installed. This is what the Keybase client looks like in Linux. Uh, I have the Keybase client installed, and whenever you have it installed, a folder is created called slash Keybase, Oops. slash Keybase, and um, this public signed uh, signed public folder corresponds with the public folder here, um, and then these are all of the different users that I'm following or 
mostly following. And if I go to myself, then I can see the two uh, files that I've made available, publicly available. If I do a, create a new full file, let's see, I open a terminal, terminal, touch, test. Okay. So now I've created this test file um, and it should also be available in uh, the public folder. So Keybase has automatically, anything that I put in this public Joshua James, Keybase automatically uh, signs this file and uploads it to uh, a public share on hosted on the Keybase, um, uh, Keybase servers. Uh, in total, for I think both public and private, you get 10 gigabytes total per user. Um, and if you share files between different users, uh, only the person who shared the file gets their quota used. So here I have this uh, uh, tested or this uh, signed uh, file automatically signed from my uh, uh, public key, private key. Okay. Um, right, so that was the public folder. So we also see that um, inside public, I can see all of the different users that I'm following. Uh, inside private, I have my own folder, and this folder is um, anything I put in it is automatically encrypted and uploaded to the Keybase IO server using my uh, GPG key. Um, it is automatically mounted, so. Um, if you if you automatically start uh, a keybase, then this folder will be available every time you log in or however however it is that you're mounting it. Um, anything I put in here gets automatically encrypted. Um, and if I want to, well, I'll show you in a second how you can use private folders to share information with um, uh, other people as well. Okay, so let's go back to keybase. Um, that's pretty much it for, for the main web interface. Basically, you upload a key, you verify some of your social networks, and that kind of attaches it, and then people can use this interface uh, to find you or search for, for example, your, um, your name. You can look for other people as well. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, something that's relative that's new here is uh, Keybase Chat. They just added Keybase Chat, which, basic, which uses your... Um, uh, key pair to encrypt chat in, in, do in, in encryption over um, over their their infrastructure basically so if you do keybase chat if you have the keybase chat uh, plugin installed for Chrome uh, then you can write a message and just start chatting with the person so I'm right now I'm chatting to myself so I can just say hello send it okay chat sent you can continue to the conversation in your Keybase app, whenever they write back to you, it does not show up uh, in this application. You've just started the chat. That's it. So I close that, and then I need to go to my actual Keybase uh, application, which I'll talk about in a second, and go to the chat uh, area, and I can see from Joshua James, hello. Okay, so then I can write back, hi. And whenever I write back, hi, um, both of these are obvious are encrypted end to end. Whenever I use the Keybase Chat um, uh, Chrome extension, it's basically just using the Keybase um, uh, command line as a it's wrap uh, yeah it's using a wrapper to interface with the Keybase command line and send messages back and forth. So I'm just currently talking to myself, so only one key is being used, um, or yeah. Um, but if I'm talking to somebody else, for example, uh, my friend who has never uh, <laughs> not, never gotten on Keybase, but I hope he does someday, um, he's actually has an account at GitHub, um, so I can detect him and I can send messages to him. So, for example, hello, and whenever he um, he even though he's not on Keybase yet, whenever he does join Keybase, then he'll receive all of my messages. Um, yeah, that's it. It just doesn't sync up yet. So Joshua James, um, I'm talking to myself and it's encrypted. I can check to see whether the, the message has been signed by clicking on these three dots. Encrypted and signed and the device that was used to encrypt and sign. Um, everything, it's green, so everything looks okay. I can also edit the message because I'm the one that sent it. Um, and I can also delete the message for everyone. So this does actually remove it completely. Okay, so that's chat. Um, a little bit more inside the Keybase app. Um, chat is basically the new feature uh, using end-to-end -end encryption. You can send um, attachments. Um, you can send all sorts of things. And there is a 
uh, app for um, Android. I don't know if there's an app for iOS, but Android definitely works. So for example, from, from my phone, uh, I can say from my phone and send, and because it's basically using, oh, it's using my key, my key is available on my phone and on my computer. Um, so I can send messages and uh, see encrypted messages uh, on both places. So for example, Telegram makes a kind of per device key. So if you use secure chats, um, you can't see secure chats on your computer and your phone. You can only see it on individual devices. Um, but in this case, because your, your uh, GPG key is synced um, between, um, between devices, I can see it on both. Um, you can also send images and other attachments. Okay, so I can send images, I can um, chat from my phone, from uh, my desktop, um, and if I'm using somebody else's, if I'm actually chatting with somebody else, then I'm using their key to encrypt all of the uh, conversation basically to them. They use my key to encrypt the conversation back to me. And Keybase um, takes care of all of that. Uh, basically, we can just type like normal. Okay, I can also delete messages. And whenever I delete messages, then they are uh, gone. Okay. Yeah, so that's a little bit about Keybase Chat, a new feature that's um, pretty interesting, especially now that, um, uh, well, especially especially now. Um, the other thing that I was talking about before are folders. Um, so I can see my public folder, and that's basically just the same view as I had before. Um, whenever I went to public, um, this is in my uh, kind of, uh, we can call it Explorer, basically. In Explorer, we can see Keybase public, and I can see my files. The same for public, uh, Joshua James, and I can open the folder and see the files. Um, this does not yet work for mobile, but they say that they're going to do uh, uh, file sharing in the mobile app soon. Uh, I also have private, um, where right now I have my own private folder, so I can uh, open my private folder, and these are just for me. I'm not sharing with anyone else. And then I can also, um, for example, do, um, let's say, who was I Who was I looking at before? What was it the, yeah, okay. So let's say I know the group, okay. I can go to Twitter. I know his Twitter name. So search Twitter. The Grook. Okay. See, there's multiple ones, so I'm not really sure which one it is, but I'm pretty sure it's that one because I know it's his icon, but uh, I would check more than this. Now, whenever I open up his um, uh, account, basically, his account, I can do open public folder and see if he has any files and he's not sharing anything publicly. I wouldn't want to download it anyway because I have no idea what he would be sharing. Oops. Okay, and then I can also start a chat, um, which just starts the chat like normal using his uh, PGP key. And then I can also open private folder. And what this does, um, if you see, Keybase private uh, Joshua James comma Grook. And what this does is now create a shared space um, that uses both of our keys to encrypt the documents. So if I put any documents in here, then he can access the documents with his key. I can ac ac access the documents with my key, but um, no one else can access. It's basically encrypted end-to-end -end file transfer. Again, there's about 10 gig worth of uh, space that you can use. Um, so the naming structure is basically um, uh, two account names with a comma in between them, two or more account names with a comma in between them can make a shared uh, encrypted space as long as everyone has their um, keys available and everyone does have their keys if they join Keybase. That's what you have to create. Um, so this is pretty interesting because if you want to make a, a shared sp shared encrypted space between two people um, or two accounts, um, then this is an easy way to do it. Um, for for example, my friend, um, need to look at his again. 
So, for example, he's at K O L Y A A K. So, K O L Y A A K. Okay. So, yeah, we haven't made one yet. Okay. So, what I can do basically is whenever I want to make a new uh, share, even with a user that doesn't exist yet. Um, then I can basically just put in uh, the user's name with a comma um, and using the Keybase command line or the Keybase uh, application, um, I can create a new folder uh, that's just shared between my friend and I, and then whenever they join later, um, then they can still have access to all of the documents. Um, yeah, so it's, it's pretty interesting how they uh, allow users with no account yet to um, be able to access the data uh, and kind of wait for them essentially until they they, they need it. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for the file sharing. Okay, so file sharing, um, what else? Uh, yeah, so you have basically an explorer version that's very handy to just dump files into. You can either automatically encrypt or automatically sign. There's the um, online interface that lets you do some types of encryption, decryption, uh, look at other people's public and potentially private folders, but you really need the application installed uh, to do a lot of it. Um, there's the uh, app that's installed where you can look at different folders, you can chat, um, and add devices and change some very basic settings. Um, basically, this app is almost exactly the same as the app that you would find on your phone whenever you install it on your phone. It has all of the same features and pretty much the same look as well. And then there's also the uh, key base um, uh, that you can use from command line. Right now I'm just in the folder structure, so just like this folder, uh, key base, private and public. I have my private and public and I can see Joshua James Grook. This is the shared folder that we just created. Um, I can also run the keybase command and see all of the different options. They have a lot of different options that you can run from uh, command line. So that's very handy as well. So basically if you want to use command line, if you want to use the GUI, if you want to use it online, if you want to use it from your phone, all of those options are available and it makes it pretty easy to um, uh, do a lot of different tasks depending on what you're trying to do. Sharing files is extremely easy. Um, chatting now is very easy. Um, you can run, for example, uh, Keybase through Tor. Um, and basically that's for um, trying <laughs> trying to keep anonymous. If you're, if you're sharing files between each other, um, it does leak some information. Um, you can run it through Tor, so it intentionally doesn't leak uh, or leaks the minimum amount of information possible, basically. Um, so there's a lot of very interesting features for Keybase, um, and there's a lot of different ways to access it. So um, what I recommend is just go through and first create an account. If you need an invite, let me know. I have a few. Um, and yeah, it's it's a pretty interesting, interesting tool. And I think, I mean, in the time, I've probably been using it on and off for about uh, maybe a year, year and a half. Um, and it's just gotten better and better. So I think it's, it's going in a very interesting direction, especially now with, with chat. Um, so that's it for Keybase. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please subscribe for more.